Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for September. This is going to cover love, wealth, and what you need to know spiritually that you don't know, that you need to know that can help you with your situation. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. Also, my beautiful darlings, if you're interested in taking my mentorship class, um, for this next class uh, that's coming up, um, I am taking a limited amount of people again. Uh, so um, I've been reading tarot since I've been 14 years old. So if you guys are interested in having a hands-on mentorship experience for six weeks, come join me in my class. All the information is in the description box below. All right, so we're going to be talking about love first, then we're talking about um, your current finance, and then what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know that could help you with your situation. All right, my darlings, if you like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. All right, right what's gonna have my Scorpio's romantic love life? Give me nine cards for my Scorpio's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Scorpio's career and finance for the month of September. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so this is going to be the first half of September. This is the middle of September. This is the end of September. All right, so let's take a look at the bottom of the deck. There's definitely healing energy coming towards you guys. There's this patient energy. Someone wants to bring things into balance. So something about this situation seems like it's divinely connected. Something is about to come to light. Maybe you're not aware of it as of yet, Scorpio. This person that seems like you guys are like complete opposites, but you match each other well. It's like, as you can see, the sun and the moon there. So that's very interesting. One could be like a fire sign, like kind of energy. Obviously you guys are like a water sign type of energy. So, and actually that's interesting because if you look at how astrology works, right? You can see like uh, in the chart, how, what, what balances for that element. So anyway, and when it comes to relationships, all right, anyway, let's just keep going here. <laughs> so we got the first half of September. Looks like you guys are having a sense of independence, you're kind of doing your own thing, maybe you're focused on your money and finance here, you're just kind of enjoying yourself, some time alone, just doing your own thing. Uh, and I get the sense that someone really wants to have a conversation with you. Someone wants to talk to you about some things. And you're kind of like, okay, well, I'm just gonna keep doing my thing, and if you decide to talk, okay, fine, but I'm not gonna be worried about it, right? So that kind of energy is going in. There could be somebody you're isolated or separated from with the Nine of Pentacles in it. Let's keep going. Or someone single and available to pursue. Let's see. What's going to have my Scorpio's romantic love life? Give me nine cards for my Scorpio's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Scorpio's career and finance for the month of September. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so there's something that's coming in that you've been waiting for, okay? This is the card for Kipper that talks about two to three month wait. So, and that's interesting. That sounds like a motorcycle out there. That's like, when I hear motorcycles, it's like the Knight of Wands energy. So like, a, a, again, like a fiery kind of energy there. Okay, something coming in fast. Uh, two plus eight is nine, 10. Something is about to be accomplished or completed. Nines talk about fulfillment of desires. Let's keep going here. I was going to have my Scorpio's romantic love life for the month of September. Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Let's see here, Scorpio. Someone's about to make an effort here. Mm -hmm. Someone is about to make an effort here. Okay, let's see what's going on. Have my Scorpio's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Scorpio's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Scorpio's career and finance for the month of September. Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, what's going on here? So is something about this situation where there was a loss here? Someone was left out in the cold. Someone may have felt like, wow, it just like kind of snuck up on me and it got away with me behind my back kind of energy while I was distracted. Someone else distracted me. 
So we see that there is this effort that's being made and there's some waiting here and the sense of independence or single and available to pursue. So there could be someone who is, there was a loss somewhere and now because of this loss they're making an effort. Okay, let's keep going. There is Scorpio, someone thinking about you. They're thinking and contemplating. You're on their mind here with the Four of Pentacles energy. They're about to present you some kind of worry and concern and a message, right? This is like sad news card, messages of concern there, sad news card uh, about their thoughts. And they're gonna let you know, I'm single and available to pursue or there's this isolation or separation and I, my God, Scorpio, I feel so bad about this. How do I fix this? I know this situation is broken. I reflected on this situation. How do I fix it? This is all happening in the first half of September, okay. So we see there's this stuck, stagnant kind of energy. I gotta make some kind of sacrifice here. And we got the gift card coming out. Now this is like the Six of Pentacles, guys. So this could talk about an invitation. They could talk about wanting to give to the situation, receiving a gift for some of you guys, wanting an equal give and take for there to be a sacrifice to be made here. We see there's an offer coming in, Ace of Cups energy, because somebody feels stuck, an offer. And obviously, again, offers can be gifts too, right? So we see there's an offer of love, an opportunity of love, renewed love, true love, Ace of Cups of main person. Okay, so let's see. All right, I'm at a loss. I feel bad about the situation when it comes to the main person. I wanna make an effort to be single and available to pursue because either concerns about new love or wanting to offer love, Ace of Cups energy. Very interesting. Or there's been a separation or isolation, as I told you guys, between you and another person. Okay, so let's keep going. The middle of the month, there's deep soul searching going on. About what? About these worries and concerns. And we see that actually there's not much to worry about because it, there's a lot of positivity and good energy surrounding this and a favorable outcome is still seemingly assured because this person wants to make you happy and wants to kiss and make up. What? They want to kiss and make up by the middle of September here. There could be some traveling towards you, all right, or strong-willed energy. It's like this person's like, I'm just going to wield my power and just move forward here. Yep, journey card is coming out. So a lot of you guys, this could be a far distant, uh, long-term energy, uh, foreign energy, but we see travel is taking place here for some of you guys, whether that be a distance travel or like a mental travel. Okay, so it's either physically or, you know, mental travel. We see there's this friendship, socializing. For me, this is like the Three of Cups card. So it could be saying, hey, let's go out, let's have a good time, let's spend some time together, or it's somebody that is seen as a friend. Okay, so we see, oh, friends are, are not really happy about it. They're trying to like criticize the situation. Okay, so friends are kind of like criticizing this kissing and making up situation hmm. and doing that travel. Okay, uh, let's keep going here, middle of the month. Okay, ending of a tough cycle here, Ten of Swords energy. Finally, this tough cycle, this, this uh, issue, this, this ruination of plans is over, Ten of Swords energy. So there's something about this house. Now remember with these kind of decks, right? The Kipper, the Lenormand, the Gypsy, they could be physical things. So this could be talking about something about a house. Maybe going to this house, spending time at home, okay? This, this could be saying, you're like home to me. And uh, a sense of stability there, or family, could be causing some issues, let's see. We see that there's an apology coming in, a reconciliation happening, a healing energy happening here. And we see, okay, what am I agreeing to here? <laughs> all right, that's, again, that's the kind of energy of, all right, I know what I'm gonna do, but I don't know what you're gonna do kind of energy. Like, all right, is it gonna be an equal give and take here? Okay, so we see there's this loss of regrets. We see me, person, kissing and making up. We see overwhelmed and uh, an agreement. 
but it's like concern if someone's not putting the effort, the same amount of effort as the other person or there's concerns around it, uh, which somebody is criticizing that. Um, okay. We see happiness, wanting to be more than just friends, or we see this friendship, and we see an apology or reconciliation. Okay. Let's keep going here, Scorpio. Let's keep going. So you get some clarity. You get answers here. Finally get some answers here by the end of the month. Because someone's deciding to make a power move. Now, this is like the Emperor card energy, okay? Something official here, all right? Something about work, something about control, something about order, structure, okay? So we see money and finance, okay? You get clarity about a situation because of money and finance affecting the situation. And we see, and let's just put that book where it goes. Um, someone's doing some sly slick energy, spying on you, watching you from afar. Possibly while you're at work. Looks like you get some kind of clarity or you kind of get some kind of answers or something comes to light about that. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Okay, let's keep going. So six of swords again, six of swords can be traveling, overcoming obstacles, blockages. And we see a healing energy coming in when it comes to delays and challenges. And we see, I need some time to think about this and doing some soul searching or someone single and available to pursue. Okay. Hmm. Very interesting so far, Scorpio. Okay, so there's this loss and we see, we see someone wants to kiss and make up. There's something being done in a sly and slick way because of regrets of what happened and someone feels overwhelmed or attacked. So they're you know, they're single and available to pursue, they're staying there by themselves, or they're getting you alone. We see this person wants to know what they're agreeing to, or wants to make sure there's going to be an equal give and take in this agreement, this co commitment. Okay, let's keep going. Again, I hear like a car starting up, and, and we see that you're going to have to make a decision here, a choice. Yeah, something has to be taken away here. There's a choice that has to be made here by the end of the month. And you're not sure what to do. Because it involves, possibly involves travel. Or some kind of major change here. Okay, so let's see here. Bringing it all together. It's like someone's trying to criticize the situation or attack it. Or just overwhelmed by the whole thing. We see that... Uh, there was this loss with the person, okay, and we see, I want to kiss and make up. Someone's spying on you, doing something sly and slick because they regret the situation. Um, there's a sense of being attacked because of this isolation, separation, or this, um, lots of soul searching here. We see main person, okay, which is a love interest, wants to agree to something here. Um, possibly concerned about a lack of effort or wants to make sure there's a, an equal give and take when it comes to travel, movement, or change. So it's like they're doing some kind of travel and they're doing something sly or slick to get you alone and they're trying to kiss and make up and they're overwhelmed or attacking the fact that there's not an equal give and take. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Very strange reading so far, Scorpio. Okay. Slight disappointment. I want to fulfill my desires when it comes to love and the relationship. All right. I want to make an effort towards being happy. We see money and finances affecting your romantic love life. We see the single and available to pursue. We see friends or going out. There's some delays and challenges. There's an offer of love and opportunity. We see an apology and a sense of confusion about what to do. Maybe some, this person could also be concerned that you have new love. Okay, let's go to the bottom of the deck here. I'm missing you. You're getting communication. There's a spiritual connection, a power move being made to bring things into balance. Really worried and stressed, you're going to have to make a decision. There's advice being given about a relationship, and um, we see people involved, and we see this leaving at a cross with a strong chemistry, passion, and feelings. Okay, something you've been waiting for, but there's worries and concerns and someone who is trying to assert themselves because they feel sad about this travel. 
and it's like they want to resolve the situation and we see there's a gift being given towards a house, a home, because of some kind of loss. So it seems like there's some delays in traveling and like the person's letting you know it was because of money and finance or because of work. Okay, so we see this sense of independence, single and available to pursue, this isolation or separation, lots of soul searching, you get clarity. This person's thinking about you and there's this desire, strong desires towards you to overcome these obstacles and the stuck energy. You've completed a tough cycle here and you have to make a choice about it. We go, if we just go by the numbers, right? Nine talks about a fulfillment of desires, all right? Fours talk about stability and stables. Hangman talks about stuck. I have to think about this. Hey, and and Cherry Card talks about strong desires to overcome some kind of hurt or pain. You get clarity about this. You overcome some kind of obstacles here when it comes to your romantic love life and you gotta make a decision. And you're leaning towards one decision over the other decision here. And it seems to be there's something about this decision that involves uh, travel and going somewhere uh, or being with someone who's single and available or this because this isolation or separation. Okay. Let's get you guys some more clarity. Very strange reading so far. Okay. Let's just get more clarity here. Okay. All right. What else does Scorpio need to know about the romantic love life for the month of September that they don't know that they need to know that could help them better understand what's going on for the month of September? Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. Okay, so things are aligning. You're gonna see some spiritual signs here, serendipity. It's like kind of things clicking into place. Someone wants to resolve unfinished business with you. Uh, someone who had walked away or they walked away so they can resolve this unfinished business with you. They're offering love, Ace of Cups synergy. There's someone who's trying to give some kind of support so that someone can take a risk. We see someone's trying to heal and mend a connection and someone wants to overcome these obstacles and win you over. Okay, but you're at a fork in the road whether or not you want to do that. We see that there is this choice or, or you have opportunities, two opportunities there. Okay, so let's get you guys some advice. Can I ask advice for my Scorpios when it comes to romantic life for the highest, best good, for the best possible outcome for them for the month of September? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to Okay, Scorpio, let's take a look. So it's saying, Scorpio, you're, you're really nice looking. You got value, you got worth. Appreciate the beauty inside and all around you. So keep yourself up here. Know your value, your worth, Scorpio. You got options, Scorpio. You have the freedom to make a choice that you want to make. Okay? You also, guys, I always tell you guys, Scorpios are natural born psychics. So you got good intuition. You got the foresight. You know what's best for you. If you're determined, you're going to get there. Yes, you've made a lot of mistakes, Scorpio, but you know, you've gained a lot of wisdom from that too. Saying you're going to have to clear out the clutter and, and purify any like um, built up like energy blockages there. Surrender to the situation and just focus on your confidence here. You are going to have an abundance of energy coming in. So congratulations. You get to make this decision when it comes to forgiveness, right? You're the authority, you know what's best for you. And get ready for these big breakthroughs, big changes, right? Trust your instincts and follow what your uh, passion, your creativity is saying here. So follow your passions here on this. Or more or less, I feel like always, I feel like the heart's a good barometer for, for making good decisions when it comes to love, because that's what we're here for. We're here, soulmates are here to teach us about love. And so as a result, we're supposed to follow our heart not our mind, but our heart and our intuition. And of course, of course, I want to preface this on because I'm not going to hear from the comments below. Of course, if somebody is very toxic and they are not good for you, you're not valuing your worth. You're not paying attention to the red flags. And even if you do love that person, that person has to do the work too in order to move forward with that person. Okay. Just want to put that out there. And you guys know what's best for you, so listen to your heart, pay attention to your intuition, because intuition is gonna tell you when there's red flags or when there's green lights, so you gotta listen to that too. All right, Scorpios, let's take a look at your career in finance. All right, so we got the Five of Pentacles, we got the Queen of Pentacles, 
and we got the Eight of Pentacles. All right, so you're concerned about some lost opportunities, although, guys, the opportunities are right there in front of you. It's just that you're not seeing that they're there, all right? It looks like someone's trying to give some advice or you're trying to contemplate a lot about the long term and you just are getting to work. You're learning new things also with the Eight of Pentacles energy. So let's go further and see what's going on here. We see there's a sense of feeling trapped in your situation, being person. And I see that there's something about a partnership that's forming here around work or school for some of you guys or um, making a commitment to that. So some of you guys are making choices that you really love. And because you feel like there has been this loss and this trapped energy in your situation. So you're deciding to be patient and really kind of figure out what am I going to do in the long term and I want to put my effort and work towards that. And some of you guys, are, you're dealing with a partnership or you're teaming up with somebody. Partnerships don't always mean an actual partnership. It could just mean I'm, I'm hiring a marketer, you know, I'm hiring an accountant, I'm hiring a lawyer, you know, to help me partner to get these things done. Okay. For some of you guys, that could be the case. Um, or you're working together with somebody to just get, get more things done. You have strong desires here, Scorpio, and you're really putting a lot of work and effort into your career in finance. And you're finding that you're getting a sense of direction. You feel like you're on the right path. In the middle of the month, it looks like you're going to have to defend your position here. Seven of Wands energy, but don't worry, you have the higher ground. It looks like you may have to argue your point. And it's something about this friendship, uh, this situation that you're trying to be loyal to. You feel like your hands are tied or like you're trapped in a situation when it comes to this new situation, a fresh start, or, you know, it's something small that you're, you know, it's not a, a, too big of a deal. But you're trying to be very strategic here about it with the cat card energy. Cats represent intelligence, very strategic energy. You know how cats are. They, they, kind, of, they kind of are able to do the things that they need to do and get it done right in a strategic way whereas dogs just kind of go into it right <laughs> so it's kind of best if i can describe it because we got dogs and cats going on here <laughs> uh, maybe some of you guys are dealing with the business with dogs and cats okay so looks like you're getting recognition and uh you're getting um leveling up here and definitely people are noticing you and definitely seeing your value and your worth you see me in person and we see this is a real happy surprise because you weren't expecting this. You know, you were just doing your thing and you were just kind of moving forward. You were just kind of moving in your direction. And then it just happens for you guys in the middle of the month there. So we see there's strong desires here. Um, and I get the sense that you guys are really just putting a lot of work into effort into career and finance in the beginning of the month just to get yourself on that right path, which you do get on. And we see this loyalty, this devotion, and we see something about the sly slick energy or trying to be an intelligence here has gonna cause this beautiful surprise for you guys, a happy surprise. Wow, you guys have the magician card by the end of the month. It's showing me that you're going to have all the tools that you need, Scorpio, an ideal situation. There's gonna be some kind of meeting, small meeting, or uh, an interview here for some of you guys by the end of the month. We see something about house, home, real estate, or something about stability here, okay? Yep, there's an offer being presented, an offer on the table. Pentacles have to do with money and long term, so something solid, solid offers coming in end of the month. And it's like you were in the sense of despair here, but there's an abundance of money coming in. Oh my God, you're, this is a great reading. See the ending card, looks like you're gonna be able to save some more money for Pentacles or hold on to something for Pentacles energy. Oh my God, oh, Scorpio, you literally got the best card in the deck today. Oh my God, for a Kipper, this is one of the best cards in the deck for Kipper. This is saying luck, lucky. Things are changing for you. Blessings. And then you got the sun card too. Wow, what a reading, that's great. Sun card, success, happiness. Look at this, lots of happiness about this sense of stability by the end of the month. So you kind of get in this gray area here in the middle of the month, having to defend your position around something you want to do here. And then you get recognition here and noticed for it. 
then it was a real surprise around it. And then as a result of this, it's like you're like, I now I have everything in place. I have everything in place and there is so much abundance coming in for you guys by the end of the month. Oh my goodness, Scorpio. All right, we have strong desires to put the effort into finding that direction. We see loyalty, devotion. We see slice like energy causes this surprise of happiness. We see this stable situation, something of a house, real estate, lots of um, abundance coming in of happiness, success. Okay, so we see this, I'm trapped, I need to argue my point. We see this meeting, this uh, small group of people here. We see main person, we see new situation, the sense of despair, we see this partnership, this commitment, this contract, and we see another person involved. There is another person involved with this, okay? Um, coming out, which causes great success and luck here. Could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, okay? So we see there's concerns about some kind of loss and you, you're defending your position because you have all the authority and the ability and the tools there. We see there's advice being given about this trapped energy and then a huge offer being presented. We see work, effort, recognition, four pentacles, a sense of stability, stableness, and able to hold onto a situation. Let's just go a little further on this, Scorpio. So you attracting some great opportunities towards you. Yes, you're taking on some more burdens and responsibility. We see there's a friend. There's a friendship socializing, a joyful energy when it comes to these concerns of heartache and sadness, but we see something massively shock and surprise changes here around your confusion. Uh, there's lots of opportunities coming in for Cups energy, and it looks like Emperor card energy. You get on schedule, you get more organized, you become your own boss there with the Emperor card energy. You're having some fun. You're exploring some things that you feel passionate or uh, creative about. We see that you're being very strategic and cautious about actions that you love, Knight of Cups energy, but the opportunities are coming in with the Three of Wands energy. Something you've been waiting for. So let's get you guys some advice. Can I have some advice for my Scorpios when it comes to their career, finance, for their highest, best good, for the best possible outcome for them, for the month of September? Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. So let's see here, Scorpio. Make a decision. And it's definitely saying if you're determined, you're going to get there. So make your decision to be determined and you'll get there. You have the hindsight to know, clear away, this could probably be paying it down debt, all right, or uh, dealing with things that have been an issue, you have to clear those away, clear them out. Um, it says you've made some mistakes, but you've gained wisdom. Honor your soul's path. Pay attention to the omens, Scorpio. Slow down and take a pause, so don't, you know, don't rush into anything, just kind of take a break and just see how things play out here. You know who you are, you know the signs. You don't always have to make things happen, but you can adapt to this situation and trust in your higher self. Because this, it seems to me, this, this uh, career in finance, this situation is happening for you guys since I saw the right path card. It shows that card comes out when somebody's on the right path. And also, I saw the best card in the deck, which was the luck card, which talks about blessings from the universe. So, and, and then we saw the advice is saying, honor your soul's path. And also that there was some blessings coming in, right? So there was trusting in your, uh, your higher self there, trusting in your higher self. Okay, so let's see what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to look at help you, Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know spiritually that they don't know that they need to know to help them for the month of September? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need. C. Okay, so what do I always tell you guys? We're in the now. The now creates the future. If we put out fear, anger, frustration, worry, what are we going to get back? That. Because this is what we are vibrationally, right? We are what we are vibrationally, and this is the law of attraction. So right now, put out the, the, the energy of gratitude. 
Scorpio, you have a certain amount of expertise. Yes, I always tell you guys, eighth house, Scorpio energy, old soul. All right, so you guys already have the expertise, the know-how, the knowing of this. So start initiating some of these expertise that you have. You're a warrior, your sign is Mars. So fight, fight for this. And we see there's a certain amount of dedication, Scorpio. This is like the magician card, I feel like, when I see this sign. The universe is speaking to you. Pay attention to the signs. This is your superpower, natural born psychics. <laughs> All right. You have more power than what you realize, Scorpio. You know, I always see either the tower card and the magician card in your reading, Scorpio. You know you have the ability to manifest whatever you want if you put your mind to it. So just know that within yourself. Be strong, stay confident, you will have a victory. All right, my beautiful Scorpios, I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Yes, guys, I do remember my comments. So if this resonates, you want to claim this message, or you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation with me, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you guys soon.